Coming up on Real Time this week, criminality does not occur at pro-life vigils, report confirms. Labour MP looks to lift prison sentence for infanticide. Assisted suicide will save money, says health insurance boss, and SPUC is gearing up for its Edinburgh pro-life chain. Research commissioned by the Scottish Government has concluded that pro-life vigils in Scotland are in fact consistent with the concept of a vigil and are not a form of protest. In 2023, the Scottish Government commissioned rocket science to undertake research into the motivation and impact of pro-life vigils outside abortion facilities. The report states that pro-life vigils are mostly quiet and that those who attended vigils sought to help women and offer an alternative to abortion. SPUC's Executive Director Michael Robinson said that this independent study confirms what we have known all along. Vigils are peaceful, community-based gatherings which simply seek to support women. Labour MP Stella Creasy has tabled an amendment to the Criminal Justice Bill which is even more extreme than first feared. Stella Creasy's new Clause 40 looks to interfere with Section 60 of the Offences Against the Person Act which deals with concealing the body of a baby, usually in cases of infanticide. Additional amendments have also been amended to the Criminal Justice Bill which look to decriminalise abortion. This means that aborting a baby at any stage of pregnancy, including just before birth, would no longer be a crime. SPUC is warning that these amendments to the Criminal Justice Bill represent the biggest attack on unborn babies since the passing of the UK's 1967 Abortion Act. SPUC is urging all pro-lifers to contact their MP and tell them to oppose any attempts to decriminalise abortion. A heartless health insurance boss has claimed that assisted suicide will save the taxpayer money. Luc van Gorp, president of CM, the largest health insurance fund in Belgium, said that assisted suicide should be expanded to people who are tired of life and that prolonging life only costs the government money. Assisted suicide has been legal in Belgium since 2002. Since then, assisted suicide rates have soared with nearly 3,000 deaths in Belgium during 2022, which was a record high for the country. And finally, SPUC is gearing up for its Edinburgh pro-life chain on April the 27th. SPUC's pro-life chain is a peaceful act of witness which remembers the lives lost and hurt by abortion since the implementation of the UK's Abortion Act in 1968. The Edinburgh chain is taking place on Lothian Road from 11am to 1pm and SPUC is looking forward to seeing many of you there. From SPUC's newsroom, I'm Catherine Moakler. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy our content, please like, share and subscribe.